नमस्ते नमस्कार वेलकम टू नेशनल लेवल वन आर्चरी कोचेस वर्कशॉप ट्रेनिंग एग्जामिनेशन एंड सर्टिफिकेशन ऑर्गेनाइज्ड बाय द आर्चरी एसोसिएशन ऑफ इंडिया एएआई कोचेस कमेटी एंड सपोर्टेड बाय ओजेक्यू ओलंपिक गोल्ड क्वेस्ट द मोस्ट एक्सक्लूसिव एक्सपेंसिव डिटेल्ड हैंड्स ऑन ट्रेनिंग असेसमेंट एंड सर्टिफिकेशन प्रोग्राम इन इंडिया इन दिस सेक्शन यू विल लर्न अबाउट वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ ट्यूनिंग नंबर 1 paper tuning two walk back tuning number 3 short distance tuning number 4 bare fletch planing test number 5 fletched arrows group tuning after the bow is set up as outlined in my earlier lectures the archer may begin the tuning process as described earlier the finger release causes the arrow to vibrate and to oscillate in the horizontal plane arrow flight appears to follow a snake like movement pattern these movements of the arrow are caused by archer's paradox where the string moves around the fingers on the release the goal of tuning is to select and adjust an arrow's flight characteristics to minimize these effects and to get the arrow to leave the bow with zero degree angular rotation it will still be vibrating but these vibrations are dampened out in the first 20 or 25 meters uh, of flight by drag forces on the arrow shaft tuning will also minimize the archer shooting form variability and help him get smaller groups your shooting technique can have a large influence over the dynamic properties of your arrow two archers shooting the same exact bow same poundage and the same arrow length may not necessarily require the same arrow size usually the archer who has better line will shoot a lighter or a weaker spined arrow than an archer who has poor skeletal alignment This is because the archer with good alignment creates lesser side movement of the string on the release resulting in less initial bending of the arrow shaft as will be shown shortly there are a number of interacting tuning variables which can be employed to best tune your system there is not one unique setup of these variables to achieve the desired minimum group size you are seeking in fact it is normal to be able to achieve a good bow tune with more than one stiffness grade of arrow with this in mind many archers prefer to tune the bow with a stiffer arrow because it is believed to be more forgiving forgiving in this sense remember this forgiving in this context is that the arrow will readily accommodate variations in the archer shooting technique tuning is best to carry out as a statistical process each arrow should be numbered to see if there is any flight bias or variation good or bad associated with that arrow the archer should shoot more than the minimum number of shots to characterize their arrow flight for example if the method calls for shooting one or three arrows from a given distance it is suggested that the archer shoots at least six shots the archer can then eliminate or discount any obvious poor shots from consideration tuning methods there are a number of tuning methods used today but most are either lengthy or inaccurate many depend on the use of bash shafts as a primary reference for fletched arrow flight bash shafts do not have good flight characteristics unless the bow is fairly well tuned some of the tuning methods used and my comments on them are as follows number 1 paper tuning primarily a compound bow with release aid tuning method this is mostly used in in the in the in compound shooting because of the archer's paradox and the resultant 
arrow flight. This method has little validity for people using the fingers to release the arrow. So it is a no for recurve tuning. Next, walk back tuning. Now what is walk back tuning? Walk back tuning involves shooting arrows at distances of 5, 5 meters, 20 to 40 meters without moving the sight and aiming at the same point. You put a dot, aim at that and shoot from 10 meters, move back 5 meters and another 5 meters and keep shooting at that dot and then analyzing the hit pattern. This method is not sufficiently sensitive in tuning carbon aluminum shafts but is said to work satisfactorily with aluminum arrows. Now, the next is short distance tuning. This method involves shooting fletched arrows at a vertical and a horizontal line. It is used mainly to verify knocking point and cushion plunger in out setting. Next is bare shaft planing test. This method compares the grouping pattern of bare and fletched shafts. It produces good results, but shooting bare shafts before a good tune is achieved may be frustrating for the archer. Fletched arrow group tuning. This method has been used for many years and does not have a name. It is probably the simplest method that yields the best results of other tuning methods and is highly recommended. It can also involve shooting bare shafts, but not before a basic tune is established. Well, so much for this session. Catch you soon. Again with the next part. Let's break up here. But now let's find answers for the following five questions. Number one, name the five methods of tuning described in this lecture. Number two, tuning can be done before the bow is set. Is it false or true? Number three, an archer with better skeletal alignment will shoot a heavier or lighter spine arrow. Number four, what is the meaning of forgiving in the context of shooting archery? Can you do paper tuning in a recurve bow? The fifth question is, can you do paper tuning in a recurve bow? Remember, please listen to this lecture again and again to find the right answers. Catch you soon with the next part of recurve bow tuning. Since the lecture is loaded with information, it will not get into our heads easily. If it does, you must be a genius. Please listen to the lecture over and over again in your headphones. This will truly help you understand what has been said in the lecture. Keep repeating till you're thorough with it. Till you have completely grasped it. Find the answers to the five questions and please send them to me on direct message or WhatsApp number 9841618386. The common mission for all of us is the same. To make India, our motherland, Hindustan, the ultimate in archery. Let's join hands towards this goal and chant Om, Om, Om. Olympic medal, Olympic medal. Nothing but the Olympic medal in archery. Jai Hind, Vande Madram. Bye-bye. God bless you. Catch you soon.